Okay, we're getting quite close to the end of the tutorials and here we are with using arrays to represent grids. Now, <coughs> arrays are actually a really good way to represent grids because you can run loops to build the rows and the columns. So, you, rather than saying build column, you know, column 1, row 1, column, sorry, row 1, column 2, row 1, column 3, what you can do is build it into a loop. So what they're doing here is creating a variable or oh, sorry, a loop which is going to run eight times for rows and then within that there's going to be one that runs eight times for columns and it tells us that the side of each of those boxes is 40. So I'm going to run this program for you and give you a look at what it does and you'll get a sense of it I hope from, um, from seeing it run. But basically you're running the same process over and over again. So the actual building of the thing is graphics window sets the brush colour to a random colour. So this here is the actual building of it. Um, it's the boxes have the values from counting through the loops, so they're the array values. Shape, adding a rectangle size by size, which is being set from up here. And then it's moving the boxes in place and again it's getting the values from the arrays. So when we run this we will see what we saw back in the, there we go. So we have a bunch of boxes with random colours. So what I can do, if I want to make it bigger, I don't have to go adding in all these extra complicated instructions. I'll just make the loop run more times. So I'm going to make it 10 by 10 and I'm going to run it again. And there we go, there is my 10 by 10 box. And let's say I don't want all of those colours uh, to change all the time. What I'm going to do is grab that code that makes the colour change and I'm going to put it up here so that it runs before it draws the columns. So it, for every time it goes to draw a row it's going to pick a new colour but then the column will all be in that, um, will all be like that. So let's have a look at it this time. So there you go. It's all the same for every column in that row and it doesn't change again until we pick a new row. So they're the changes that I've made. I'll look forward to seeing what you've done to show me your understanding of this.